He is a power broker, a kingmaker. Len McCluskey helped Ed Miliband become Labour leader and Jeremy Corbyn hold on to the job. But after 10 years running Unite the Union, his power seems to be waning. His chosen candidate, Rebecca Long-Bailey, failed in her bid to lead Labour. McCluskey himself is due to stand down in the next 12 months. And now he faces accusations of cronyism over the union's development of a new hotel, conference centre and union base in Birmingham and its construction contract awarded to a company owned by a friend. The now almost completed building may be in Birmingham, but the foundations of this story are on Merseyside. Len McCluskey was born here. He worked on the docks and joined the union, but it's also where he made links that would last a lifetime. The man on the left is Paul Flanagan. He runs Liverpool-based building company Flanagan's. McCluskey described the firm as a working-class family who've made good and never forgotten their roots. Flanagan's was given the big contract to build the hotel. Overseeing health and safety on the project, a different company owned by David Anderson, the son of former Liverpool mayor Joe Anderson. All three men have been arrested on suspicion of bribery as part of a corruption investigation not linked to Unite. They all deny wrongdoing and have been released under investigation. There is no suggestion of any criminal wrongdoing in the union's dealings with either company. Um, but there are now growing calls within Labour for an investigation into Unite. The obvious answer to a lack of transparency is to have an independent inquiry, and I think that's absolutely the right thing to do. I think that's what the members would expect. I feel angry. I feel this is an outrageous abuse of positions to use members' hard-earned subs to fund a project that's gone catastrophically wrong, and there's been no apologies. The development was originally supposed to cost around £7 million. Before work began in 2017, the union estimated the bill would be £57 million. But by January this year, the total cost was just over £98 million. The big question for Unite and its members, was this building worth it? It was supposed to save the union money on hotel bills and conference costs. But now it seems like the millions spent here could take years, even decades, to make back. One of the candidates who wants to succeed, Len McCluskey, says members want answers. They struggle to understand how the union could spend nearly £100 million on a four-star hotel and conferencing facility that doesn't give them the workplace support and backing, the very reason that they joined the trade union for. The lack of transparency, huge overspend, concerns about tendering, and the fact Len McCluskey is Unite's only paid elected official meant we wanted to speak to him. We're from Sky News. We're trying to find Mr McCluskey. The union ignored our request, so we went to their London headquarters to try and find him. Is it possible to speak to him? He's not in the building. Before eventually getting through by phone. We just wanted to speak to you, if it's possible, about your Birmingham hotel and... He told us to call the press office, and they said Mr McCluskey did not want to do an interview. Let's put the phone down. When we asked Unite, they told us their initial estimate for the project was too low, but the costs increased over time. Money was also spent adding an extra floor to the building and turning it from a three to a four-star hotel. They reject a lack of openness in the tendering process, saying Len McCluskey wasn't involved, but they will not name other companies who applied for the contract. This building will be Len McCluskey's legacy. The race to succeed him officially begins within weeks. Joe Pike, Sky News, Birmingham.